We're back here in Laser Rides. Watch night game. Drinking. She was a black hat beauty with big dark eyes. IPAs. By base camp. Out of Portland. God, it's good to be back. Well, hello, it's laser disc time. Uh, we're sitting around drinking beer and watching laser disc. Finally, it's laser disc time. Where I kick back with the beer, spin a laser disc. Few good men, house party too. A Mrs. Doubtfire and Turbulence. Highlander 2, X Files, Garth Brooks, and the True Lies. Well, hello, it's laser disc time. Uh, where we sit around drinking beer and watching laser disc. Finally, it's laser disc time. Oh, where I sit down drinking laser disc and watch some beer. Ah, laser Rides, brought to you by... What are you doing here? What's that? Oh, God. No, no, no. Please don't hurt me. Please, please, please. No! Working on my night game. Just watching the dude from Jaws do the same thing. Working on my night game. Uh, so Night Game is a movie uh, released in 1989. Um, partnership between HBO and Image Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> gotta say, uh, it's not, not what I thought it'd be. Hey, Big D, what's going on, Big D? You talking to me? Oh. Don't shoot me, huh? Hey, I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing wrong. Don't shoot me. God damn it, Kyle, I warned so, you. So, Night Game is a uh, movie um, about uh, Roy, who uh, just got engaged to his wife. He's probably 25, 30 years younger than, than he is. And... Uh, He's a cop, and he's trying to solve the mystery of who the Night Strangler is. Hence, Night Game, I guess. Strangling and nighttime go hand in hand. Uh, you don't have to say a thing, Alma. I know how pleased you are. <laughs> Little Mikey Saver. <laughs> now, who would have thought when you and me were doing the dirty bop together at Ball High School that you would grow up to be good enough to marry my baby? Jack Bennett did turn over in his grave. Maybe, Mom. Uh, I suppose let's, he would. Let's go quick on the beer real quick. Uh, it's dark orange color. And um, it has a lemon and grapefruit um, taste with a very creamy head. It doesn't finish creamy. It finishes pretty caramely. Um, but is uh, well worth your, uh, your try. Uh, Base Camp is a Portland uh, brewery. Uh, they have uh, been around for several years now, and uh, most of their beers are quite enjoyable. In fact, I um, would probably say their IPL, India Pale Lager, um, may be their best beer they brew. I didn't review it today because I know that uh, that um, Roy wouldn't like that. Um, so, a little bit about the movie. Um, it really isn't as good as I th thought it would be. I mean, it has a lot of good catchphrases. Like, strike one, there's a killer on the loose. Strike two, you never know where he'll strike next. Strike three, too late. You know, I'm very nice to this woman. I've ordered a TV set with a monitor, stereo. I mean, how many oh, people have that kind of a television set? Why don't you take it back? I'd be delighted it to take it back. still does not get channel 8, and 5 is not all that good either. I'm paying for that set in 12 monthly installments. Oh, well, let's see. You have paid for one week. Now, how much is that? $10 at most? That's it. That's it. Tonight, you unplug it, and you put it right outside the front door. Why don't both of you just shut up the fact that I have the TV? The front door. I would be delighted to put it out the front door. I do not have to take this. Oh. The front door. There is a mad killer loose, and he is driving around at taxpayers' expense. So, Roy, Roy, Sh Snyder, Shader, Shider, 
was Shader Schneider. Schneider Schneider um, was in a little show I like to call um, Sequest. Um, early '90s TV show. Uh, he was also in Jaws. And this was before he uh, was lucky enough to be cast in uh, Sequest. And I gotta say, it's probably his crowning achievement. Most people would say that Jaws was, um, but I really don't think that he knew what he was doing at Jaws. Here in uh, Night Game, he um, really he he came became the character and created the character, which is something most actors do not get to do. And I wish once in a while you'd walk in here with some goddamn proof instead of just a hard on. Do you go to church? Yes, I go to church. Do you pay attention to your pastor? Yeah. My private life's none of your fucking business. Now, come on, we got some new names. Um, he finds out that a certain murder happens only when a pitcher, a certain pitcher, I think his name is Sal, is on the mound, and he... He puts two and two together and realizes that uh, it's a disgruntled former Astros pitcher who lost his hand in a freak bus accident. Who's, I guess, taking his revenge on Sal, for whatever reason, in the city of Galveston, um, for his loss of a pitching hand. Bizarre film. Didn't really have a plot at all. Um, it looks good. The transfer um, was um, of upper quality, especially for a film that um, was definitely a lower quality film. The beer, Nar Nar IPA by Base Camp, uh, was delicious. As I mentioned before, it has a grapefruit and lime, or lemon, um, lemon lime taste to it. Um, pretty caramely, um, just the right amount of carbonation to complement those. Um, overall, I'll give that a 7.5 out of 10. Um, for the movie uh, Night Game, starring Roy, Roy Rur, um, probably give it a 4 out of 10. The best part was the transfer, the fact that it has a three day longer So, uh, Dodger Frost, Laser Rot Studios of Laser Rot Incorporated, um, financed by Frostonian Pictures Inc., um, and an on the green production. We have uh, here a three day loan. Thank God. Took me a few days to finish this one up. <laughs> <laughs>